Hello, you're welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Akintuna Evelyn, the Mushroom Crown Princess. In today's video, we are going to learn about how to inoculate our sterilized compost bags. So in our previous video, we have learned about formulation of compost, penning, sterilization, and what we are going to do today is how to inoculate your bags after you have sterilized your bags so after the sterilization you have to leave the bags to cool down and when it cools down then you come in inoculated so when we talk about inoculation it's just the process of introducing your spawn into your sterilized compost bag so that it can run through the bags and then after the running which is referred to as the, col the colonization then you can start harvesting your mushroom by opening the mouth and watching so today we are going to learn about how to inoculate your bags so let's get started so to inoculate your bags the basic things or the materials that you need to have is your disinfectant so this is my disinfectant rubbing alcohol so that is my disinfectant and then you also have to have your cotton so this is the cotton that I'm using so this is my cotton then we have the stirring rod that you will use to break the spawn inside the bottle so this is how the stirring rod the stirring rod looks like it has this curved mouth that allow you or a bent end that allow you to inoculate or break down the spawn in the bottles so we also have our detail which we use to clean our hands and sterilize our materials before we start so this is a bowl of water so i will add the data into the bowl of water i'll clean my hands clean my steering rod and all the other materials that i will be using and this is our spawn so I, like i said earlier in my previous video we learned about the quality of a spawn so this is my spawn and I produce it on my own. So it's not having any other color, no sign of contamination. So we are going to use it to inoculate the bar. So this is my spawn. So to start with, I have to pour the disinfectant into the water. That is the dental. So the data in the water. So I wash my hands and wash the rod. So the rod is clean. My hands are clean. Then I will get a cutting. So this is my cotton. So this is where I will use the disinfectant. Wet the cotton with the alcohol. And then you use it to clean the rod again. So after that you take the bottle that you are going to use you use the alcohol on the cotton to clean the bottle too because you don't know when you were bringing it to your incubation room there might be a bacteria that have fallen on the bottle that can enter your bags during inoculation so they need to wipe it with an alcohol after that you remove the rubber band the paper they are sealed with and you clean the mouth very well so all our materials are well sterilized and neat so the next thing is we remove the we will remove the cotton that have been used to sew the mouth and then break the spawn in the bottles down so that we can use it to inoculate The 
grains are stacked together so they need to break it down to separate it in pieces so we are using this bottle for 15 bags so one bottle is two a number of 15 bags so that is the rate at which we are inoculating one is to 15 so after that you pick your bottle with your hands you have to turn it like this but because when you hold it straight like this if in case there is a bacteria in the environment and it's fairly straight it will just enter your bottle but when you hold it in this direction when you inoculate and there is a bacteria falling down even if there is a bacteria in the environment that is falling down then it will fall on the side of the bottle it wouldn't go straight so they need to bend it when you remove the cotton and not to hold it straight so we have broken our bottles there's we have broken our spawn in the bottle so you use the mouth of it and face the mouth on your bag and then you inoculate So it's a technique it goes like this come back goes like this come back so when you see that the number of spawn that you have poured on the surface is enough for you because you are doing one is to 15 and you have to be smart in your measurement and you shake it so that the seed will distribute on the top of the bag it will spread itself there then you use the cotton and sew the mouth back and then you place it and you go with a different one So when you have utilized everything that you have break down and then you want to break again you have to pick your rod again and you have to wipe it with an alcohol because you have placed it down and any bacteria can fall on it so anytime you pick your rod you remember to wipe it with alcohol with your cotton before you break it down again so this process will continue until you are done inoculating all your bags So with this all number of bags, that is the method I'll be following to inoculate all the bags. It's going to take me a long time, probably hours to do it. So you take your time and then you inoculate all your bags. Remember, hygienic is the key. You have to keep your materials and your environment sterilized because before we move the bags in, we clean the floor with disinfectant that is mother power zone and then we also disinfect our environment before we brought the sterilized bags in and as we are doing the inoculation today we are making sure that all our materials are clean mushrooms need hygienic environment to grow so remember to practice your hygiene this brings us to the end of today's video and i hope you have learned a lot so give me a thumbs up leave your comment at the comment section and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed again this is your girl evelyn the mushroom crown princess see you next time in my next video bye bye